edible hash browns, 10 pack, $20. Swiss macaroni, four packs for $20. Caribbean flavors white vinegar, one liter bottle, five for $20. Happy brown sugar, two packs for $20. Golden bread margarine, three for $20. This creme cookie rolls, five packs for $20, and so much more. Plus, Extra Foods is now open in Aranguez. Enjoy plenty giveaways, samplings, and many plenty for 20 specials. Extra Foods, always extra for less. What is Christmas without water? This season, avoid disruptions in your water supply. Pay your WASA bill now. If you haven't received your bill in the mail, visit www.wasa.gov.tt. Let's stay connected this Christmas. This message was brought to you by the Water and Sewage Authority. Sheikli Show Limited, the Caribbean's largest manufacturers of plain and printed paper bags, leaders in plastic bags, vermicelli, split piece powder and greaseproof paper, ideal for doubles, french fries and sandwiches, supplying stores nationwide. For quality products, trust Sheikli Show Limited, 665-3336. Are you diabetic, pre-diabetic, or at risk for diabetes? You need Berberine Plus by Aja Nutrition. Two doses a day keeps the blood sugar at bay, cholesterol levels in check, and your immune system strong. Made with ancient Ayurvedic ingredients, Berberine, Bitter Melon, and Banaba Leaf, Berberine Plus is clinically proven to improve glucose metabolism, enhance insulin sensitivity, and slows glucose absorption. What is Christmas without water? This season, avoid disruptions in your water supply. Pay your WASA bill now. If you haven't received your bill in the mail, visit www.wasa.gov.tt. Let's stay connected this Christmas. This message was brought to you by the Water and Sewage Authority. Are you diabetic, pre-diabetic, or at risk for diabetes? You need Berberine Plus by Aja Nutrition. Two doses a day keeps the blood sugar at bay, cholesterol levels in check, and your immune system strong. Made with ancient Ayurvedic ingredients, Berberine, Bitter Melon, and Banaba Leaf, Berberine Plus is clinically proven to improve glucose metabolism, enhance insulin sensitivity, and slows glucose absorption in the gut. Berberine Plus, providing a natural path to a healthier you. Pick up a bottle today at Pennywise and all leading pharmacies nationwide. SSR Aluminum Glass and Steel Deco introduces our Christmas sale on all bathroom enclosures and aluminum windows. Double sliding, sash, heavy casement windows and more. Excellent quality with our thicker profile material. A wide variety of color frames and glass designs to choose from. Visit our showroom or give us a call. This Christmas, it's Christmas on wheels with Brandtech Limited. Buy three tires and get one free on selected sizes. Contact us at 609-TIRE. Merry Christmas from the Grand Tech family. Is your business or company not making money? That's because no one knows about you. Advertise on Crime Watch, the number one show and watch your business transform. Call us at 294-4081-225-4327 or 225-3250. We, we had a technical glitch. We had a technical glitch. So I must apologize. We were there with the engineers fixing it and whatnot. Um, you know, there are a total of seven murders were recorded between Friday and Monday. And two murders occurred in Northern Division, three in the Port of Spain Division, one in, North, in Northeastern Division, one in Eastern Division, and one female was among the victims murdered over the weekend. This also, ladies and gentlemen, just to let you know, you remember there was a decomposing body of a man that was found... Be, that's, let me, on, and behind Wood for Lodge on the 9th of November. Remember the 9th of November, I went down there. I went down there. There's about two or three minutes video. We're going to play for you. And I would see, today, we, today we can identify. The, the, the body has been identified. The body has been identified, but it was sad news. We were trying to get on to the mother, but she was here. We're going to play all those clips for you. But it's really, really sad. But again, the decomposing body of a man that was found behind Woodford Lodge in Chagonas on Thursday, the 9th of November, 2023, has been 
<laughs> has been, I don't want to be tangled up. Has been identified. His mother, Rima Hussein, positively identified his body earlier today. Mikhail Hussein of uh, Chase Village was reported missing on Monday, 30th of November. Mikhail was also reported missing on Thursday, the 14th of September, after he was allegedly abducted and Wagner Chase in Chase Village. So, here yeah, what we're going to do. We, right, in September. So, here yeah, what we're going to do. I'm going to take you to when we found the decomposing body. Go ahead. It is on this side, across, yeah? Right, C cross the road, cross the road. So, ladies and gentlemen, as you can see, UTT is on this side across here. Yeah. Just straight across here, yeah, you can see, right? That's the UTT building, yeah, right, UTT building. Do you know, ladies and gentlemen, do you know that a body was found this morning? A, a, a body was found. I, I want to show you where this body was found there. Yeah. Come across here. You can see the, the, the wood foliage area across on this side. The wood foliage area across on this side. Just imagine this, yeah? Just imagine this. This is right you now. This area, this wood foliage gardens, the amount of home and uh, like little break-ins and whatnot they have, they have here. This place needs more police patrol. Serious. They have a, a real influx of little... I can't say petty theft, but they're taking up your things. They're taking up your things. You understand? A body was found. Look, just look at the proximity of this place here. Look on this side here. Look on this side. Look across on this side. The body was found right there. Right, right, right across. Yeah, come, come, camera guy. Come. Just go into all this area here. Now, it's not normally I, I use a mic. Yeah, I can't remember when I use a, 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 a mic, but nevertheless, now I'm using a mic today. Just showing you the, 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 the proximity. And it's frightening because houses, uh, they have houses here. And I don't know why they don't cut this bush and all kind of thing. What is this? What is this? So when is, you have to cut this bush because you have to go down and just fall under the corporation. When these people come to, to pay the land tax and whatnot, they dock it out of the land tax. Yeah, you have to do that. You have to do that. And they, and they can do that, yeah? They can do that. They can do that. Because this is craziness. Man can hide there with gun and thing in the corner. They're watching lady passing, lady running, see on this side. And, but this craziness. This is crazy. So this is where the body was found. As you can see, the undertaker gloves and doctor gloves and everything. So yeah. ladies and gentlemen, this just to let you know, the body has been identified here. Remember when his mother came, uh, came on his set and she started to cry because her son was missing. But I want to tell you something. It was on November the 9th. That was Halloween. That was a Tuesday. Am I right? What, what day was the Halloween? Where was she was Halloween? Right. So all that time she was miss, he was missing. He went missing on Halloween day. On the 30th of October. Let me explain something to you. We, I was in Shogunas. I saw him. That same boy, Mikkel. Right? That same boy who body was discovered. Well, well, was the decomposing has been identified. So I was in Shogunas, right opposite Church's Chicken. I had stopped to speak to someone. However, he realized that, hey, somebody said that's Ian Allen, and he came to the van. Well, the people was in the van with me and whatnot. And he had like a, a kerchief, a cloth over his head like that. Like that. And he had a tattoo of his brother, who, who had gone missing since the who's still missing, his brother's been missing since the, let me see which date we got there. August the 25th. Mikael younger brother has been missing since August. So he printed a tattoo, he printed a tattoo on his hand here. I asked him, I said, he said, well, I love my brother and I can't, I can't find him. And I, and I printed a tattoo. But strange enough, while I was speaking with him, there was a guy who came close to the van. And while Mikael was speaking to me, he was watching up and down, and he had his phone like that. And I asked Mikael, I said, Mikael, why is that fella speaking to No, it's a normal thing for people to go on their phone when they see me to do like that. In restaurants, wherever. They wouldn't come up and do like that, but you know, it's a normal thing. But I found it very unusual. 
So they put security, was like, I just said, no, 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 after that, he went around, he limed that night. I think I gave him about $100 or $200. I had some money right by the glove compartment there. And I asked him, I said, you eat anything for the day? He said, well, I'm hustling right here. So I just took up all the money and I said, yeah, take that. He came up with one something. He said, go and buy some chicken and chips or something like that. And that was the last time anybody saw him. He limed, he went out in the night somewhere in some club. He was around. And after that, his body, but nobody couldn't find him. So now the, his bre one brother is still missing, and one is dead. Remember the mother who came on the studio here? Let's go to that. The ninth. Yeah. It's not Monday, you know. He had been missing from Tuesday to the first. Yeah. I want to tell you. I want to tell you all something. I want to tell all you all something. I was in Shogunas on the thirty-first. Right opposite Pizza Boys. As you pull out a uh, only mean right opposite Pizza Boys. After Sona's jewelry. There's that building by um that is Gel Mall. Alright? And I wanna tell you this today. I spoke to Mikkel. Now strange enough, I was in my vehicle. Nobody knew that I was in that vehicle. But Somebody recognized and said that I think that is Ian Allen and he came knocking the door, knocking the glass. And I wind down the, they wind down the glass and I said, hi, hi, what's up? He said, you know who I am? I said, no. He said, I am Matthew's brother. And he showed me his hand and he said that I tattooed my brother's name on my hand. But strange enough, there was a guy that came and standing with a phone. And I asked your son, I said, who's that for the taping? And he said, I some guy I know. Do you know, ladies and gentlemen, after that? But he made mention to me. He told me some things. And I, I would like to speak, you know, to the investigator. What kind of memory do I have? I said the exact thing, what I said on the 9th of November, October. Am I November? Am I right? That's the exact thing I said. This thing registered in my brain. Go ahead. Told me some things. And I like to continue investigating officer. And I f after that, he has gone missing. Did he tell you that he spoke to me? No. Who told you? Who told you that I spoke to him? Well, when he had call and tell me they're not seeing me, I I start calling around. Uh -huh. And I start calling him all. And when I called him all the time, how Mikael met you? Yeah, he met me. That, yeah. and that was around after two. Yeah. And Between two and three, yeah. You gave him money and he went and buy lunch. I gave him money because I tell him, I asked him, I say, yeah, because he was working, he was with the vendors and them. And he had a skin covered on here. He said, he don't want to buy to make him out. He showed me his hand. And I had some money and I said, hey, go and buy a lunch. I think it was $150, so just a couple hundred, just take it out by, by the glove compartment. Say, yeah, go, by, go, go and buy something for you and the boys there. And that was it. And, but it had a guy, a bald head guy. Is that the same guy that said that was following Mikkel? Yeah, all to the mall. All to the mall. Yeah. A kind of fattish East Indian fella. Yeah, that's it. When I asked one of the shop who's yeah. selling the mall, yeah. they said that fella was following Mikkel. Because I found it strange because while, he, while I was talking, I see this guy with his phone like that. And I'm telling Mikael, I said, that guy is, why that guy is taping me for? It's like, I, 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 you know, I made mention of the persons in the, in the vehicle. I said, why is he taping? Because he was like talking, but you know, I know when somebody picking a call and when somebody taping. Believe me, I, I that good. And after that, her son went missing. Now, I don't know if they think he did mention to me, he did mention to me certain things. So up to this day, they can't find your son. Oh. Oh my God. <coughs> and he haven't called nothing. And this is the woman, only two children, you know. Only two children, you know. I have a girl. And she, well, she has a girl, child, a girl, but nevertheless, her two sons missing. Two, both of them. 
One, one missing from since the 31st, uh, to the 1st of October, and one missing from since the 14th of September. You understand? Because I remember they, they tried, they said me, they tried, they had tried, ladies and gentlemen, on the 14th of October. They abducted the same one that was missing, that missing since the, that is um, Halloween day, that is Halloween day, that is the 31st of October. That was Halloween day, I remember that. Mikhail Hussein. They had abducted him on the 14th, and the guy who was responsible for the fire is currently in jail. Yeah. Yeah, he's doing about three years. I don't know. I even asked him about that. I even asked him about that. And after that, he went and he bought the lunch. And up to this day, they can't find him. So it, it was, it's, clear to, it's clear as day that they were watching him. And they became fearful when they realized he spoke to me. But I did not go with any intention to speak to him. The persons we were, in fact, the person that was with us, they had stopped right as you, right as you come out that street and stopped by Jell Mall to get something in Pizza Boys and Church's Chicken and whatnot. We were in the van. I was sitting in the van and just watching Shogunas and watching the vendors running from the the corporation, police, and whatnot. So now you realize, ladies and gentlemen, I just had to put this story together for you, that he has been found, he has, and he was found, that he, sorry, he has been identified. That is craziness, you know. In this two-by-two two country, all these deaths, people missing, it's shameless, it's just shameless. It's shameless, and nobody cares. When you see, you see them at these parties, and they're having a good time, it's Christmas season, Everybody partying, everybody going to all these the parliamentarians and the MPs going to have all their big time parties and whatnot. I might be invited, but again, it's business as usual in this place, boy. A poor man, as I said, and I say it again, a poor man can't get no car. A poor man has to get the lowest engine, this lowest engine. Yet in the world, you go to America. You in the US, you could rent all kind of Lambo, I rent in Porsche, I could rent a Rolls Royce, all kind of fancy car to pick you up, limousine. I ain't talking about the hotel, I'm talking about the car. And you could really like up yourself now when you go on a little holiday. Down here, it's different. Every move is to oppress the people of Trinidad and Tobago, every move. But yet, it's not that the engine cannot come here in. It's not that the large engine, the large vehicles with the big engines, the large the, the vehicles with the bigger engines can't come here, but you don't deserve it. The politicians deserve it. They have all the tax break. They pay next to nothing for a car, but we who put them, they have to pay more money for a car. If you so want to make money on gas, let the people bring big engines. You're going to make your money. Make, bring anybody can bring any kind of engine in this country. Bring it. You bring it. You bring it, I would have phased out a certain years, sell it, let people sell it, or buy it from them and to a scrap dealer or whatever. Phase out. You come now, and we start, we bring cars. Tell everybody here what you can bring cars in the last eight years. You can bring all your big engines and whatnot. But it will be more gas for me. But no, they send up the, they send up the pump. But yet, yet, you can't afford to bring a large engine here. You have to bring a small engine, pay, pay, pay plenty tax, and still pay, pay plenty gas. What is that? What is that? That is no oppression. That is oppression. And when you talk, everybody vex. Nobody cares about the poor man. Nobody cares about the small man. Nobody, nobody, nobody cares. That's why you see me. I get a list on national television. Me don't pass nobody straight enough. Are you talking to the small man? Are you talking to the poor girl? I talking to the girl who's selling corn. I sell talking to the vendor. I talking to everybody. Yeah? I don't rank. I don't rank. And I hate rankers. But I tell you one day for police and one day for thief boy. As long as I have breath in me, I'll highlight it. We're gonna take a fast break. Hey, I wanna say JTA visit us. JTA Christmas jackpot. Sukus Limited. They have the best liquor. Make your way down to Sukus. ABC Barton Doors. Matai Imports. Homeland Marketing. One uh, Stonehouse Marketing, RPM Express Couriers, 
International Tiles, Carpet and Rugs, Pasadi Food King, and Tire Clinic. All your ads is on all platforms besides Crime Watcher. All our platforms are during the day, all our lives. You can book your lives from tomorrow. You're going to see the live ad. And remember, there is no Christmas without water. Let's take a fast break. for the JTA Jackpot this Christmas at JTA Supermarkets. Unwrap the joy and get the chance to win over $300,000 in prizes with purchase. Picture this, a kitchen makeover, an unforgettable family vacation, and not one, but 10 shopping sprees valued at $5,000 each. But wait, there's more. 15 lucky winners can win a year's free groceries, a kid's toy shopping spree, or even a year's supply of free gas. Plus, we've got 35 JTA gift cards and a whopping 35,000 JTA thank you points up for grabs. It's the JTA jackpot where every gift is a merry surprise. Sukus Limited is a distributor, wholesaler, and retailer for a wide selection of wines, liqueurs, spirits, and non-alcoholic beverages. This Christmas, take advantage of our fantastic prizes in tequila rose, gin, cream liqueur in delicious flavors, 360 vodka, wines, and a wide assortment of beers. We also carry grocery and gift items, bar accessories, and more. Visit us in store at number 70 Queen Street, Marbella, from Monday to Saturday, 8 a.m. to 6 p.m., Sundays, 8 a.m. to 12 noon, the 17th, 2 p.m., and Christmas Eve till 7 p.m. Check out our Facebook and Instagram pages. Send us an email, call or WhatsApp at 298-9989. Thinking of giving your home that modern finish? Then visit ABC Bar Doors and Windows. We are the largest supplier of hardwood finishing goods. Get kitchen and pool tiles, faucets, doors, windows, sinks, and so much more. Come in or give us a call. ABC Bar Doors and Windows, always a better choice. Mata Imports Limited, the number one pickup shop for the best quality, price, and service. Check out their showroom at number 750 Papery Road, Lower Barrapur for a wide variety of 4x4, SUV and car accessories. You name it, they have it. Mata Imports has all the latest items in the market. The 4x4 boss is always taking you to the next level in the automotive industry. So contact them today at 654-5234 or 360-8773 for further information. Go live with Ian Allen and let the world take notice of your business. Be seen by millions on all our platforms, Facebook, YouTube, our iOS and Android applications, and website, ianallen.org. Our network showcases you to viewers locally, regionally, and internationally. You'll be seen by millions. In 2023 so far, we've already crossed millions and counting. Our iOS and Android downloads have surpassed the hundred thousands. Since 2016 to present, over 47 million people have viewed our videos. That is proof of our reach worldwide. No other network can outdo our proven performance. No one can beat us. Your live will stay on all our platforms indefinitely. You'll even own the rights to the production. Let Ian Allen transform your business and take it to a place you never thought possible. Call us today to book your spot. The millions are waiting. Are you in search of affordable, high quality wrought iron hollow section steel sheets, wheels, banquet chairs, tables, aluminum stages, and more to elevate your next project? Look no further than Homeland Marketing. Located in Montreal, Chiguanas, Homeland Marketing, beautifying homes. Grand Christmas Day now on a PNV Marketing. Brand new or roll on roll off vehicles, cars, SUVs, pickups, hybrids, and more. Purchase your car now and pay next year. The best price and warranty of three years or 50,000 kilometers, 100% financing. Don't miss out. Are you looking to give your home or business a modern natural look? Let Stonehouse turn your imagination into a reality. We supply, install and maintain all natural stone products. Give us a call, find us on social media or visit our showroom. Stonehouse, we give you a lifestyle to envy. At RPM Express Couriers, we make your online shopping experience easy. Sign up with us and get your free account with no monthly or annual fees. You can pay online using our customer app or website. Don't have a credit card? No problem. We can make the purchase for you via our shopping assistance program. Download our app and track your package. Free nationwide delivery, office or curbside pickup. Call us at 224-4776, visit our website or send us an email for more info. RPM Express Couriers, the company that goes above and beyond. 
From floors to counters to ceilings, your one-stop shop can only be International Tiles, Carpets and Rugs Limited. Get gypsum PVC ceiling tiles $9.95, porcelain wood plank tiles $19.95, granite prefab counters $1,295, commercial roll carpet $48, cushion padded vinyl flooring $69, quartz prefab counters $1,795, doormats $25. Conveniently located in San Juan, Charlieville and San Fernando and now open on Sundays. Get in on these absolutely unbelievable prices now at International Tiles, Carpets and Rugs Limited. With the brand new Passage One Card, earning points is as easy as shopping at any Passage Depot King supermarket, Bright Ideas and Crave. And let me show you how easy it is to redeem points. You can redeem your points when you shop for new curtains, household items, decor, flowers and seasonal items at Bright Ideas. You can enjoy discounts at our loyalty partners. Yarrow Family Medicine Pharmacy with 10% off every $100 spent. Occumed Health, Safety and Wellness for discounts up to 10% on your doctor's visit. 11th Avenue Doctor's Office for 10% off your first visit. Dr. Rampol's Family Practice for 10% off your visit. Plus, Guardian Life of the Caribbean for 5% off for new customers. Now opened at our Montrose Shogunas branch, Tire Clinic's Truck Tire Department. With a faster tire changer, the largest service bay to facilitate all your heavy equipment needs. We carry tires for cars, motorcycles, or get your alignment done all at one spot. Call or visit us today. So, ladies and gentlemen, again, um, a man was gone down while asleep at his home in Belmont early on Monday, the 4th of December. The deceased has been identified as 23 year old Jabari Rodriguez of Serenau, Serenau Road, Belmont. I don't pronounce it right. Serenau Road, Belmont. Around 3.30 a.m., Rodriguez was asleep at his home and gunmen stormed the house and shot him several times before fleeing. Residents heard the gunshots and upon investigating, they discovered Rodriguez bleeding from gunshot wounds and contacted the police. A team of officers from the Interagency Task Force I, uh, visited the scene with the district medical officer and declared Rodriguez dead. So this man, ladies and gentlemen, was gunned down while asleep at his home. Imagine this killing you in your sleep. While you're sleeping home, they're killing you. The last murder that took place in Belmont area was on Tuesday, the 14th of November, 2023, when Kevin Granger was shot and killed by standing near St. Francois Valley Road plannings. That was the last time a man was killed in that area. Also, a businessman was gone down near his establishment in Arima on Sunday. A businessman was gone down near his establishment in Arima on Sunday. The deceased was identified as 56-year-old Elliot Chance, the owner of Ellie's Els Minimart, Els Minimart, the around 625 chance was at a playway boot attached to Elms, Els Minimart at Tampuna Road North when he was ambushed and shot several times. A relative who was nearby heard the gunshot and went to investigate when they found chance lying on the floor bleeding from a gunshot wound under his chin. The police were notified and a team of officers from the Northern Division Operations Center along with the DMO responded and declared chance dead. Officers on the Malabar Police Station, officers on the Special Evidence Recovery Unit also visited the scene and found the bullet hole in the glass pane of the lotto boot. So they shot him in the lotto boot. Just to let you know that. Also, lady, in the last murder that took place in the arena in that area was on Monday, 30th of October, 2023, when 57-year-old Andrew Rose, 46-year-old Troy Marcel Galdon, and 30-year-old Lance, Lance Hill, all of Brasso Seco Pario, was shot dead while in a vehicle. Remember that? So that was the last time somebody was killed in that area. That was the last, that was the triple murder. Also, ladies and gentlemen, on Sunday, a man was shot and killed in Tunapuna. Sunday, the 3rd of December, the deceased was identified as Ansel Robert Maxwell, a.k.a. Mountain of Upper Fairley Street, Tunapuna. Around 9.30, Maxwell was reportedly standing along Upper Fairley Street when he was confronted by two men armed with guns. 
The suspect then shot Maxwell several times before fleeing the scene. Residents who heard the gunshot investigated and found Maxwell lying in a pool of blood. The police and emergency health services were notified. However, by the time they arrived at the scene, Maxwell had succumbed to his injuries. Crime scene investigators also visited the scene and recovered several spent shells. Also, the last murder that occurred in the Tunapuna area on Thursday, the 19th of October, when 30-year-old Aaron August, a.k.a. Polo, was shot and killed while walking along Tunapuna Road near St. John's Street. Also, the body of a woman was discovered with multiple stab wounds in Manzanilla. Again, the body of a woman was discovered with multiple stab wounds in Manzanilla on Saturday, the 2nd of December. The deceased was identified as 57-year-old Rachel Noel of Walk Street, Sandy Grandi. Around 1050, contractors reported carrying the out-road works along the Manzanilla Mayara Road when they observed Noel's body on the shoreline. He subsequently made a report to the police and command center, and a party of officers from the Manzanilla Police Station responded and observed the body with stab wounds to the neck and both arms. A district medical officer also visited the scene and viewed the body and ordered its removal to the Sandy Crandy Hospital. Noel was reported last seen alive on Friday the 1st of December 2023 when she and her commodore husband Wayne River left uh, Ettins Bar on OJ Road, Sandy Grandy, allegedly arguing over money. Did you, uh, again, they left a bar, her commodore husband Wayne River left Ettins Bar on Ojo Road, Sandy Grandi, allegedly they were arguing over some money. So we can't say we're not casting any aspersions on anybody. But nevertheless, ladies and gentlemen, that is what happened. That is what happened. But funny enough, funny enough, ladies and gentlemen, funny enough, there was la they, you know, they were last seen coming from the bar where they were arguing over money. He was last seen with her. However, I am hearing from a birdie that he is the person that made the report, the missing person. Okay. The husband made the report. He went later and he made the report. She missing. But then was arguing from the bar over money. Money in these times is big, big argument, you know, around Christmas time. Big argument. So we're going to take a fast break, ladies and gentlemen. When we come back, again, Jewelry Empire is advertising with us, limited. Also, Extra Foods, Radical Trading Company, International Tiles, Carpet and Rugs, Fab Indian Expo Flea Market, Efix Investments, Passard the Food King Supermarket, and Double R Restaurant. Rago, where are you going, boy? You all right? I want to say a special to Rago. Rago need to do some, some duck for me, some, um, I think this weekend I do, I was feeling to eat some curry duck, like I swear to God, I swear to God, I was feeling to eat some good curry duck. So I said to call Rago and tell him, do a fireside duck for me. But you know, sometimes you just feel to forget the diet, <laughs> I need some duck and no provision or some nice curry duck. There's about six pieces and a good, with some little bus up shot or something. Yeah. Also, ladies and gentlemen, those of you who can book your ads, start booking for December and January and February. Those of you who want to boost and you find your business slow, get us. We'll do the live for you. Half an hour, the numbers are on your screen. And remember, ladies and gentlemen, I'm supposed to say this on every break. There is no Christmas without, wa without water. Please pay your wasser bill. Let's take a fast break. <laughs> Go live with Ian Allen and let the world take notice of your business. Be seen by millions on all our platforms, Facebook, YouTube, our iOS and Android applications, and website, ianallen.org. Our network showcases you to viewers locally, regionally, and internationally. You'll be seen by millions. In 2023 so far, we've already crossed millions and counting. Our iOS and Android downloads have surpassed the hundred thousands. Since 2016 to present, over 47 million people have viewed our videos. 
That is proof of our reach worldwide. No other network can outdo our proven performance. No one can beat us. Your live will stay on all our platforms indefinitely. You'll even own the rights to the production. Let Ian Allen transform your business and take it to a place you never thought possible. Call us today to book your spot. The millions are waiting. Sparkle and shine this holiday season with the Jewelry Empire Limited. Give the gift of gold jewelry, certified diamonds, brand name watches, or silver jewelry. Visit us at South Park, San Fernando, and Grand Bazaar. Give us a call or follow us on Facebook, TikTok, and Instagram. Merry Christmas! Come and enjoy extra foods, plenty for 20 specials this Christmas season. Gala apples, 10 for $20. Mineable hash browns, 10 pack, $20. Swiss macaroni, 4 packs for $20. Caribbean flavors white vinegar, 1 liter bottle, 5 for $20. Happy brown sugar, 2 packs for $20. Golden bread margarine, 3 for $20. This creme cookie rolls, 5 packs for $20. And so much more. Plus, Extra Foods is now open in Aranguez. Enjoy plenty giveaways, samplings, and many plenty for 20 specials. Extra Foods, always extra for less. No, this is Radical Trading. You know that? And them have everything to cover anything. Radical Trading have the best fabric designs for your poster in needs, yeah? The furniture, car, boat, tent, even material for school bags. This will look really nice on my couch, boy. They even making pillow too. Sprang. Oi. Oh, Those shucks are for get for money. Serious? They could pay for it for me. Me and my big mouth boy, I want a Radica get thing to cover mouth yet. Radica Trading for locations nationwide. From floors to counters to ceilings, your one-stop shop can only be International Tiles, Carpets and Rugs Limited. Get gypsum PVC ceiling tiles $9.95, porcelain wood plank tiles $19.95, granite prefab counters $1,295, commercial roll carpet $48, cushion padded vinyl flooring $69, quartz prefab counters $1,795, doormats $25. Conveniently located in San Juan, Charlieville and San Fernando and now open on Sundays. Get in on these absolutely unbelievable prices now at International National Tiles Carpets and Rugs Limited. The Mid Center Mall Christmas Flea Market from the 1st to the 31st of December. Over 400 merchants, toys, gift items, home decor, perfumes, t shirt printing, and so much more. Daily live entertainment, fascinating snow show. Take pictures with Santa and check out their Facebook page for more information. The Mid Center Mall Christmas Flea Market from the 1st to the 31st of December, opening daily from 10 a.m. Farm India Expo, opposite Medford Gas Station, Shagornas will now be closing on December 10th. Enjoy up to 50% of all items. Everything must go. Complete family shopping, multi-cuisine food court, your one-stop shop, it's all coming to an end. Farm India Expo, closing on December 10th from 11 a.m. to 9 p.m., including weekends. Welcome to eFix Investments Limited, your one-stop destination for all your home essentials. Transform your bathroom with our exquisite range of showers, enclosures, luxury bathtubs, modern toilets, faucets, ceramic sinks, and vanities. Enhance your kitchen with our stainless steel sinks. Our extensive selection includes bath, kitchen accessories, as well as security doors. Visit our showroom today at Southern Main Road, Homeland Gardens, Knopje, and let your dream home become a reality. Call us at 665-2282 or 671-2282. eFix Investments Limited, your home, your style, our passion. Get delicious meals and cold drinks at Double R Restaurant and Bar. Enjoy local cuisine daily and our Saturday Riverline menu, Fireside Duck, Cascadoo, Goat Head, Lagoon Rice and more. Delivery available in the Shibonis area. Call us today for more info. <laughs> Janice, where's your secret? Your place always so clean and organized. <laughs> well, girl, I've got a secret. It's Sir. Sir? Seriously? You have a man coming to clean? No, girl. Sir's an amazing new line of cleaning products. I'm talking about kitchen sprays, bathroom scrubs, even laundry detergent. They've got the whole house covered. So your secret weapon is Sir? You bet. Sir cleaning products are a game changer. Not only do they smell amazing, they're effective and affordable. And this Sir definitely wouldn't judge your mess. <laughs> <laughs> Introducing the Sir Collection, a wide range of affordable cleaning essentials for every corner of your home. Discover the secret to a clean home. Available at all leading supermarkets nationwide. Right, we are back. So, because what we got, as you know, we start from quarter to six. 
Now, so much advertisers, more, more coming in tomorrow. Everybody wants to get their sale. Everybody wants to get their packages. We already sat in the book up for January and February. Way down next year already. Yeah, people booking their ads because they realize we are the number one. We are, it is the number one show. Ask them in tongue when you want to go and spend your money by TV6, CNC, 3 bags, and wherever. Wherever you want to go send. Promoters could get your ad carnival. To, in fact, tomorrow, promoters for carnival could book us because we have already have promoters from um, for the the show, the big show that is coming up, and um, also, ladies and gentlemen, remember when you ask them, ask them who's number one between six and seven, where the most views in any local television show, any local show in t on, on TV, any show on TV that has the most views, and they will tell you it is six or seven with Ian Allen. They might want to tell you that, but if they don't want to show you, don't book it with them. That's all. Just don't book their ads because it's unfair. So that is why, ladies and gentlemen, a lot of people come here, and cheap thing, not good. You want to make money, you spend by us, and you will see. Look at the caliber advertisers with us. You understand? And we have already crossed 22 million for the year. I'm now looking at the analytics and whatnot. 22 million for the year. All right, 22 million for the year, and we are already 67 million from since we started. Also, ladies and gentlemen, in, in, uh, three men were murdered in separate incidents in Port of Spain on Friday the 1st and Saturday the 2nd of December. The most recent incident, a man died after he was stabbed during a robbery along Cochran uh, Street in Port of Spain on Saturday. The deceased was identified as 24-year-old Marcus Edwards of Laventil Road at East Dry River in Port of Spain. Around 10.30, Edwards was found lying in a pool of blood along Cochrane Street, bleeding from multiple stab wounds. He was subsequently taken to Port of Spain Hospital where he, was, where he succumbed to his injuries. The police were notified and a team of officers, Corporal George P.C. Bernard and P.C. Ruben, Ruben, Ruben responded and went in search of the suspect. Edward's Toyota Fielder was stolen during the robbery and was covered at 17th Street. So a man was stabbed, stabbed in a robbery and they took his car. Also in, on Saturday, a man was shot and killed near his home in Port of Spain. The deceased was identified as 24-year-old Antonio Rahim Chakli of Oxford Street, Port of Spain. Around, seven, around 10 o'clock, Checkley was reported lying along the roadway near his home and a vehicle approached. The occupants of the vehicle fired several shots, hitting Checkley before speeding off. Residents of the area heard the loud explosion and upon investigating, they found Checkley's lying on the, green, on the ground, bleeding from gunshot injuries. The police and emergency health services were notified and the injured man was conveyed to the Portis Pin General Hospital where he was pronounced dead on arrival. A team led by Sergeant Douglas and Corporal By a corporal responded and are carrying out investigation, investigations. Also, ladies and gentlemen, a pensioner was found dead while three others were injured following a shooting in Mova. The deceased was identified as 71-year-old Wendell Short of the Norbrega Street, Mova, while the injured victims were identified as 22-year-old, a 71-year-old, sorry, a 71-year-old Wendell Short of the Norbrega Street, Mova, while he injured, he, he was shot. While he injured was Denisha Burgenon and 21-year-old Nicholas Yearwood. Around 10 p.m., Stuart was reportedly standing on the balcony of another man placed along Ninth Story on Mo when a, a, vag a wagon approached. The backseat passenger then fired several shots, hitting the 71-year-old several times as well as Burgenon and Yearwood, who was struck by stray bullets. A report was made to the police and emergency health services, and the trio were taken, where the 71-year-old Wendell Short... Look at this, yeah? Just look at this. Look at this. In fact, come back to me. We're going to go... I'm going to show you the video after the break. I'm going to show you. A 42-year-old 40, a 40, a man was shot while fighting off an intruder during an attempted robbery at his home. I'm going to show you the shot the guy in the balcony just now. 
At around 9.35, the victim was at his home along Almond Drive with a relative when they heard a man voice demanding that they open the door. When the man refused, the suspect attempted to break into the house and push his refrigerator in front of the door to block it. That's like a movie. That's like a movie. He take the, the refrigerator and push it, push it to, to block off the intruder. Nevertheless, ladies and gentlemen, he was shot. And also, ladies and gentlemen, a man only identified as Cookie was reportedly shot during a robbery at a supermarket in John Street Enterprise Shogunas on the 3rd of December. All right? Also, ladies and gentlemen, a man was shot and wounded while on his way to meet his girlfriend in Plymouth, Tobago. The victim was identified as, Tri as Travis Whiteman of Young Street, Scarborough, Tobago. Whiteman was taken to the hospital where he was treated. He going to meet a woman and he got shot? What kind of thing is that? Are you set up thing or what? That's strange. That's strange. That's a song in two. That's song in kind of weird. You understand? Also, a 30 year old man was reported chopped in his head, in the head, in Maruga on Sunday around 11 p.m. The victim was at the home of a man he knew in Laloon Village when he was confronted by three men, one of which was armed with a cutlass. The suspect then, then Laloon, the suspect then attacked the victim, beating him about the body before chopping the suspect. Then they then fled the scene and the police were notified. The injured man was conveyed to San Fernando General Hospital where he received medical treatment. The responding officers went in search for the suspect who was still at large, right in um, Maruga, yeah, right in Maruga, right in Maruga. As, so I'm going to take a fast break. This break is brought to you courtesy CTS College, also King Cool, uh, extra food. Re remember Reggae Family Festival, we are the official uh, station, the Ian Allen Network, for all their promotions. All right? SNS Passage Supermarket, Gable X, Garden Junkies, and Extreme Home, Thailand Supply, RMA Hardware, and Caribbean Hair Transplant. Let's take a fast break. <laughs> Step into a world of opportunities at CTS College, where education is beyond academics. Winner of over 50 world prizes, as well as ACTT Student Service Award, it's a college of your choice for quality education, guaranteed to unlock your true potential. Internationally recognized degree programs, choose a degree that is right for you. Come in for your free career guidance session and start your future today with CTS College. Beat the heat at Kinko Limited Auto AC Parts and Services. Our techs have years of experience keeping you cool and comfortable. Exceptional prices, quality work and outstanding services. Call, WhatsApp or come in today and take advantage of our many specials. Come and enjoy extra foods, plenty for 20 specials this Christmas season. Gala apples, 10 for $20. Mineable hash browns, 10 pack. $20. Swiss macaroni, four packs for $20. Caribbean flavors white vinegar, one liter bottle, five for $20. Happy brown sugar, two packs for $20. Golden bread margarine, three for $20. This creme cookie rolls, five packs for $20. And so much more. Plus, Extra Foods is now open in Aranguez. Enjoy plenty giveaways, samplings, and many plenty for 20 specials. Extra Foods, always extra for less. Go live with Ian Allen and let the world take notice of your business. Be seen by millions on all our platforms, Facebook, YouTube, our iOS and Android applications, and website, ianallen.org. Our network showcases you to viewers locally, regionally, and internationally. You'll be seen by millions. In 2023 so far, we've already crossed millions and counting. Our iOS and Android downloads have surpassed the hundred thousands. Since 2016 to present, over 47 million people have viewed our videos. That is proof of our reach worldwide. No other network can outdo our proven performance. No one can beat us. Your live will stay on all our platforms indefinitely. You'll even own the rights to the production. Let Ian Allen transform your business and take it to a place you never thought possible. Call us today to book your spot. The millions are waiting. 
For the first time in Trinidad and Tobago, an event catering to all ages. Welcome to the Reggae Family Festival. Headlining the festival, the living legends. Performing an unplug acoustic set for the first time in TNT. The Royal Son of Ethiopia, Sisala Kalanji. The sea level of the original fireman, Mr. Yagayo, Anthony B. And more. Reggae Family Festival. Sunday, 17th December at the O2 Park Amphitheater from 3 p.m. to 9 p.m. Get your tickets now at Cache Nationwide and online at Island E Tickets. Powered by the official media network, the Ian Allen Network. SNS Passat Supermarket comes to St. Mary's Free Port with the wide aisles of variety, quality you can trust, a community hub, and royalty rewards. When I say they have everything, they have everything from your fresh produce, your wines and spirits, your butcher meat, seafood, bakery, you name it, they have it. And with these prices, trust me, you're guaranteed to save some money in your pocket. So come on down and shop today at the brand new SNS Facade Supermarket, St. Mary's Freeport. What once was glass is now plastic. You get all the benefits of glass without the drawbacks. And only Gable X packaging will get you there. Plastic application works with all the existing capping methods, so the change is simple and seamless. You get visual clarity without the fragility, as well as less scuffing, scratching, and label tearing. We do PET. PET brings many advantages. You get durability and rigidity. It's more economical, durable, recyclable, and beautiful. Our purpose is to help you profit from what's inside the package. And the outside profits the plants. Get ahead of the competition today. Contact Gable X Packaging Limited. Oh, what fun it is to win SNS Pesad. They have everything plus over 300,000 in prizes. Wow! Start your Christmas shopping pin, pin, pin. and win vouchers for free groceries. If you win one, one of these, these. mix that from kitchen to living room, make up and more. We're big in every store. SNS Pesad is Christmas shop. Win one of 200 vouchers for $500 in free groceries. One of 12 55-inch televisions. One of 12 KitchenAid mixers. Or a living room makeover valued at $50,000. There's over $300,000 in prizes to be won. Shop at any of our four locations and win big this Christmas. SNS Passat Supermarket. Loyal to local. Still special a nice girl. A nice girl. I tell her, I know this girl so long, yeah? Her father and I were friends, best of friends. But he passed away, that's Balki. <laughs> that's the only man ever make a saltfish pail out of in my life. And cook gone with his skin. <laughs> yeah, boy. Yeah, so we, we, we always keep in contact, I always keep in contact with them and what they're great. They're great, nice girls and, and all the sisters and things, you know. So today we want to say a special happy birthday to. Kerry, Kerry Ann Balki soon. She's also a nurse. Yeah, she's an amazing girl. And today's her daughter's birthday also, Ayana. So we just want to big them up. Jello, a.k.a. Jello. When you see her, just call her Jello. <laughs> All right, that's her, that's her nickname, Jello. I give her that name when she was small, Jello. So today's Jello birthday and her daughter, Ayana. So Kerry Ann Balki soon. Have a great evening along with your daughter, and we are. I'm very proud of you. Come back to me, please. Also, ladies and gentlemen, uh, somebody was telling me a short while ago, with respect to this fellow who was shot in Tobago that we just highlighted, um, Travis, Trav Travis White man, right?
They're saying that that boy, his name called, and a guy called, and somebody's death, his name had called. Now, I ain't saying he knew anything about it, but, you know, they just said that. They said that, and that is why shots were fired. It's a guy called Pajo that was shot. Somewhere in Plymouth. Yeah. Sometime the, um, sometime this year, but nevertheless, nevertheless, they, they, start, they started to say that he was going, Travis was going to meet his girl and he was shot. But he's not dead, but they're saying that, you know, now they're trying to spread a rumor that he know about some shooting and blah, blah, blah. So his girlfriend don't have anything to do with that. I just want you to know that. I tell you, watch me tell you, people don't stick in it. It's go on the website on the ianallen.org. You see ianallen.org? Boy, and light it up one time. One time. No username, no password. They're smart. They send all the information. School teachers using it, police using it, everybody using it and sending information. I don't know, I don't know. Once we get the information, we highlight it. And there's no way you can, if you want to leave a number, I can call you direct. I'll call you back directly and we'll chat. Also, just to let you know, there's a situation in going on in Tobago right now where the bus service in Tobago, yeah, they have a serious public transport and they have a problem. I'll chat with the Minister of Works and Transport, the Honorable Rohan Sinanan, and just find out what's going on in Tobago. So let, I know the entire Tobago, all, all, all the homes, in Tobago, they are locked onto my show, and I just want you to know that I am aware of the transportation challenges that the elderly is currently facing on the island, those who rely on public transport, the buses and whatnot. So we're going to find out if they're going to increase the amount of buses you all have in Tobago, what's happening, but there is a problem, and I just want you to know that it, this situation has engaged my attention, and I will be making calls tomorrow to the Honorable Minister, and I will report to you on tomorrow's show. I will speak with the Minister tomorrow and just tell you what exactly is happening. So going back to our previous, also ladies and gentlemen, just going back to our previous story where a man was shot in mover on a balcony, right? He has been identified as Wendell Stewart. This is what went on. Normally he was at the... Normal standing, look at this. He's standing watching out. Normal, normal. You can stand out your gallery. Watch. Watch, you normal, normal. See it? Normal, normal. So watch the two persons. Watch the two persons. Watch the two persons on the veranda looking out. So you telling me, oh no, stop, Charlene, stop, stop. You telling me you can't stand up on your veranda. You can't come out in your gallery in your boxers and stand up and drink a cup of coffee with your jersey on and relax. You can't put a hammock outside in your gallery and take the fresh breeze, the cut the shoot in you. Tell me what, how you describe this image here. What are these two elderly people? Is a 71-year-old was shot in a, a 71-year-old. Right? A 71-year-old. Hi, caller. Good evening. You're live on Crime Watch. Go ahead. So the target was the 71-year-old. Was it all about apartment? What it was about? Tell me. What it was about. This is a sad video. He died, he died. And there were two persons who were hit with stray bullets. Denisha Burgenand and Nicholas Yearwood. There were two persons. Now leave the photograph there. Just leave it. Just leave it and I'll let it play. Children riding bicycle. The car coming. Stop right there, please. Right. Open up the lines to me. Tell me how you describe this. This says a million stories, a million words. Just this image. Open up the lines. Hi, caller. Good evening. You're live on Crime Watch. Tell me. 
It is terrible. It is really, really terrible. It is terrible. You can do, you do that every day. You do that every day. You sit down in your gallery. Remember, ladies and gentlemen, it's 7 o'clock. There is no Christmas without water. Hi, caller. This is terrible. This could happen to anybody. What about if they come in for somebody in your house? You see? What about if they come in for your grandson? Or your granddaughter? Or somebody in your house running the road? They're taking people money and they're living home by you. Them, if they have, if, if them inside eating and you come out in the gallery, they're shooting you. So sometimes, if you might have a grandson who don't want to listen to you, please get a toughy garbage bag Pack his things and let him leave your home. Pack all his clothes and let him get out. Anybody who cannot abide by the rules, go up the road. If you want to rob people, you cannot stay in my house. If you want a thief car, you cannot stay in my house. If you want to run racket and con people and take people money, you cannot stay in my house. People, I am asking you in a very nice way, do not harbor the lawbreakers. Do not harbor them. If you want to sell drugs, you want to smoke weed and cocaine, you cannot stay in my house. Long term, you cannot say, well, you, you don't do it in my house. Let me tell you something. Once the shooters come in and you come out your gallery, they will get you. You can be 20 years, you can be 19 years. Once they can't find the person, they will shoot you. Hi, caller. Good evening. You're live on Crime Watch. Hi, caller. What do you follow with the, with, with, with the bicycle after the duty? Start it over. If he went, let me just see something. Okay, the man riding the bicycle. He riding. He watching. He look like he talking to them. Listen. He see the car coming down. The car coming down. But why would he go be on his side of the back of the van? Or oh, the car come down with a speed. Okay. Oh, the car was coming down with her speed. It's like the dog running and all too. The dog running and all. So what is the problem? Everybody's a gunner, man. You don't know. You don't know. But how they know two of them on the veranda at that time? How they know at that time? Watch. Neighbors come, they're checking him. Watch. You see? So you don't know who they're looking for. You don't know who they're looking for. Oh, God, what just, man? Way, boy. What have you to say about this? Tell me, what have you to say about this? What have you to say about this? This is so sad. This is so sad. Hi, caller. Good evening. You're live on Crime Watch. So the, so, the, so the little boy on the bike run back. Because they watch the fellow with the bicycle. Can't say that. I can't watch you follow the bicycle. I have to gather my information. Have to gather my information. This is so sad. Oh, look, he fixed, man. He fixed our real thing, boy. People like that pop up and I love it. Stop. Wow. Let's imagine that.
Come back to me. What have you to say about that? What have you to say about that? What have you to say about that? When you see those things, you know Christmas coming. This is going to be Christmas. People decorating. People celebrating. I try. It doesn't really matter to me. I want to be real honest with you. I sometimes feel a bit guilty. I feel guilty. Because sometimes, even guilty having a show for music, all kind of thing. Because so many challenges people face every day. Why we couldn't have love and peace? Why it just couldn't be nice? And people be nice. Just be nice. Just be nice. Why you have to be evil? Why you have to take up a gun and shoot people? Why we just can't go for them and clean up this place? In every community, just go for them. Nobody wants to do it. Only talk and talk and collect salary. That is all. That's all they want to do. Talk and talk and collect salary. And you see, when you have security and you are a gunman by your gate and all eyes on you, you can talk where you want to know. That is like, and you saw that during COVID. People say, enforce curfew. Shut down this. Don't let nobody come out. But there are people who have a short salary. There are people, government workers, who have a short salary. People could talk all on radio station long time for COVID. Yeah, let us enforce a curfew. You go out and work in the night with a car and have to find money and see if you go a curfew. Stop. Yeah, they're telling you, stay home. But it's our people, it's our single mothers. Look, I tell myself, some case I hear, you try one milk, pampers, struggle thing, real struggle thing, boy. <laughs> Lady girl send my pity here and the pampers and the milk, yes? The way, boy. The child father gone. But it's not a matter, it's my responsibility. It's a child. It's a child. The child father gone. They can't find him. He busts out. No way they can find him. Eyes what? Why real people just come for my father the nation, boy. But I tell yourself, yeah, I tell you. I always say, nothing wrong building a flat house and having a step. <laughs> you understand? But just it have it's sad, boy, it's sad. Plenty of people. And that's why if you have deadbeat fathers, let, don't let them pay because them going and make children like yard foul. When they finish in one yard, where, um, a yard, like yard foul. They make children in one yard and they go in the next yard and finish. No, let them pay. Let them pay to mind the children. Let them pay. Let them get locked up and mine. Government has nothing to do with that. And I find it very unfair that government has to mind people's children. If it have deadbeat fathers, Come and see about your child. When you was on the, you all was doing all the rudeness. Rowley and nobody was not wrong, you know. I was not wrong. When all I was doing all the thing and kissing up and doing thing, thing. I was nowhere wrong. Now father gone, everybody gone. Ian Allen, government, everybody had to give you money to buy milk and pampers. Go and find the man and take out a warrant. Take out a summons to come to court. And if you don't want to come and you don't want to pay, take out a warrant. And it's not shame in that, you know. Oh, I got mind my child. Yes, you got mind your child, but the little 800 every month or the little 700, that could go in a separate fund that when he wants, when the child ready for university or ready to do a degree or a master's, that could pay for it. That could pay for it. So that's how you have to think. That is how you have to think. That is how you have to think. But after me, I find in some cases it's unfair. We have to have a, a campaign to go after deadbeat fathers who have warrant and whatnot. Go after them. You have to go after them to pay because there are plenty of people out there. Now, now to even to get the money in the in the in the in the, in the, in the court in the, in the court, you can't even get it because something with the money and they have to register. All oh, kind of back and all thing. Yeah, but that is unfair too. 
when they go in jail, the debt is right off. You know that? The fathers will say, well, I'm going to go in jail for six months. No. No, what you have to do is let them pay it. In default, they will go to jail. So you have an option. No, because you can't be going around making children and busting up your thing and going making children. And you don't want to mind the child. No. It's unfair. It is totally unfair. You know how much kids will be out of a toy this Christmas? You know what fat no good just no good fathers it have? Just no good. No good. They're just no good. The linemen, they're drinking in bar, they're wearing all kind of fancy shoes. All kind of thing. And they are minding the child. But you're talking big. That I'm a child. All you look now. <laughs> that I'm a child. But you're just mind child? No, you don't. So, take out a warrant for them. Do it. I tell you, do it on national. Do it. You have to do it on hot up the head. Hot them up. Hot them up. Yeah. Hot them up. I had to defuse a situation recently. No, people go through things. But at the end of the day, they have to mind the children. They have to do it. You can look at you looking for grant and your husband walking up and down. Taxpayers don't have to pay. When all over again, when all over doing all the things, nobody was around. So let him pay the money if he able. God forbid, if he's not alive, if he's not alive, well, okay, you can get, you know, you get assistance. If he has migrated and there's no way you can locate him, it have fathers who lock off everybody and gone, you know, gone. It have fathers who use guilds down here. It have men who use guilds down here and gone away and cannot be found. Cannot be found. They go on. And it's our girl still hoping that that boat coming back. <laughs> I just had to laugh, yes? I'll throw that for somebody, but person said they are no hope for nobody coming back. But nevertheless, hats off to the stepfathers. It has stepfathers. It has stepfathers minding, the, minding, minding next man child like their own, you know. And it have mothers who going out there and cussing up. Watch me. They couldn't care less about child father. They're doing what they have to do. And that's why we must have a day for single mothers. Yeah. We want, and single fathers. A day for single mothers and single. We, we should have a, a public holiday for that. Single fathers and single mothers and guardians. Just a, a day of reckon, not a public holiday, but a day to recognize guardians, single fathers and single mothers. Just a day, that day, you know, it have men's day and women's day and children's day and autism day. Right. We should have a day like that. And maybe bring, bring um, Rondell Fields, blind me. No, Rondell Fields. Sorry, I'm a friend. Rondell Fields. He's a nice fella. You know his father died, right? Rondell Fields, the, the, the president of the Single Fathers Association, and his brother Roger. You know his their father died yesterday. Yeah. So you all put it up. Condolences to Rondell Fields. His father passed away yesterday. You understand, Mr. Fields? I knew I, I met Mr. Fields many, many years ago. A very distinguished NAR man. <laughs> nice guy. But he was 90. He died at 90. No, you can't die at 80. It, it's, it's something is wrong if you should die at 84, 83, 80. We, there, there's so much technology and so much medication and all kinds of things you can do to lengthen your life. 90 is good. 94 is good. Yeah, you can die in the 90s now. In the 90s, that's not bad. 96, 97. I think by the time I am ready, they might have things to take it to 150. That would be good, eh? To see me for 150 years. Boy. I live in that, yes? I shall not die, but I shall live. And declare the work of the Lord. Yeah. 
Ladies and gentlemen, we are out of time. Have a wonderful night. I'll be back tomorrow at quarter to six. Quarter to six, we start on time. We we'll do a break, and we just, as you can see, after six, you can enjoy. You know, because more ads are coming in from tomorrow. We're out of time now. Have a wonderful night. God bless you. What's up me on 294-4081. Those of you up the islands, those of you in the Caribbean that would like to advertise with us, that have business, because everybody up the Caribbean is locked on. Everybody in, the, in, in, in New York, the whole, the, whole, the whole West Indian diaspora, they're all locked on. They're locked on. So if you have a restaurant, if you have a shoe shop, if you have a store, I'll be in New York very soon. Eh? I'll be in New York very soon. Soon and very soon. I'll be in New York. You have a, you have a visa? You? You should. Or just reply and, you know. There's one place you can, you can never lie. Don't ever lie to the embassy. Please don't do that. And don't try scheme. Please don't do that. You'll embarrass yourself. Tell them the truth. Tell them you're going for a holiday and you're coming back. Don't try nothing because they will find you and you'll make bad. You'll make bad. You'll make bad for yourself. I always tell people that. Lie to anybody, but don't go to the embassies and lie. They'll find you and, and, and more the, 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 the U.S. Embassy. In fact, I met, some, I met some officials from the U.S. Embassy on Friday night at a function. Had a great time. Had a great time. Had a great time. Had a great time. Really, really, really nice people. I want to say a special hello to them. They all locked on and they watch my show religiously. Yeah, you'll be surprised to know. I met the ambassador for Croatia. I met um, for the Canadian High Commissioner. I met a lot of people. Umlala had a nice attorney. Umlala had a function and whatnot. Nevertheless, ladies and gentlemen, have a wonderful night. And remember, get in contact with us. Those of you who want to advertise, get in contact with us. Start booking your life. We go on to our page, Ian Allen Network on Facebook, Ian Allen Network on YouTube. Download it. And, um, look at, sorry, follow us on Ian Allen on YouTube. Subscribe, Ian Allen Network on, on Facebook. Follow us. And also on TikTok. You can look out at me. Hashtag Ian Allen. All right? I think I'm in the, I'm, I have the most. The most. Am I right? The most. I'll tell you tomorrow. The sick can't touch me. Good night. Have a wonderful night. Bye. Yo,